Welcome back to the This Is Much More podcast. I'm Evelyn and my handsome co-host is... Rolly Vogues. And today we do not have a guest because we are celebrating our... 50th episode. 50th so. and one year. And one year. Yeah. Pretty yeah. badass, right? Yeah. So... So cheers to that. Yeah. No water today, man. <sighs> Fuck. It's kind of Damn, like it's, it burns on your neck. It's right? good. It burns your neck. Wow, no. <laughs> um, no, but yeah. So we turned. I I guess it makes sense that we are doing the fiftieth on our one year mark because we've missed like two or three. For our first year of a podcast, I think we're doing amazing. Yeah. But yeah, we missed a few. I think it was like two episodes <clears throat> that what, that we that like, we missed didn't drop. Yeah, one in December of last year and one in June of this year. Mm. So that's why it's a, a year because the year is fifty two weeks. Oh, that's true. And we're dropping our fiftieth within the year. So it works out. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so we want to just start off with saying, you know, a lot of y'all, since if y'all are day ones, then you know the difference, the growth. Um. You know that we've done for it being one year only. Mm-hmm. What's been your favorite part of it? The favorite part of the podcast? Yeah, like that you look back and you're like, damn. I think okay. I think like uh, for me, it would obviously be like the guests that we've had. Yeah, me too. And just being able to like meet people, you know, and just talk to them. We've talked about this before, you know, but mm-hmm. it's just talking to people and getting to know like what they do and stuff like that. But then también like teaching me how to like be um ¿cómo se llama? Uh, like say say yendole? what's the word Motivating? consistent consistency staying consistent like with something because mm-hmm. this is the, i you know since we do a bunch of stuff or whatever this is the one thing for sure that stays consistent yeah aside from the, from both the of us. yeah aside from the three you know the other stuff but, yeah, yeah. I think no, that. yeah, it's true, guys, because even um, there's been times that I think I don't f- I haven't been feeling well during the week, but we still have I'll still like suck it up and record an episode that Friday or something. Right. Yeah. But um, my favorite part is the same thing, like getting to meet these people like that are coming here. Honestly, not going to lie. Most of the time I'm pretty nervous. Right. Because so I don't people, know. Yeah, because it's still people that I, I bring on. Yeah, a so. lot of. More than half is people that Roland either had a connection with or he's worked with them in some type of way. Yeah. But it's my first time, like, actually, I've heard of them, yeah, but it's my first time, like, meeting them. Yeah. So. I feel like the last one we recorded was just a, with, which is Julian, which his doesn't come out till a few weeks from now. But mm-hmm. I feel like he's one of the ones that you, like, didn't know anything yeah. like at all right yeah but you so. know what a, another one of the another things that like i love about it is that i feel like i learned at least one thing from that person that i feel like i carry on with myself yeah you know what i mean yeah like either we finish this podcast and me and Roland are like so motivated so i hope yeah. that when we y'all are watching this like at the end if you do watch to the end like you you just you know finish the episode feeling just as motivated because when we finish the episode we're like telling like damn we should do this we should do that you know like mm-hmm. super motivated to get shit going like and doing it you know yeah. and that's why we decided to screen print our our own shirts our merch yeah which is kind of like a bitch yeah it's fucking hard while she was taking a nap i was doing all the work you know <laughs> oh you want to throw in there that i was taking a nap <laughs> wow no but whenever i was trying to like uh, figure out how to work everything like man, that's just fucking hard like it's, it's the time consuming part would be like just the learning part you know yeah. but since we've like we had ordered everything and then we ordered like extra stuff extra mm-hmm. equipment that we needed or whatever that we thought we could go without mm-hmm. you know and then just learning all of that and then just like the, the flash drying process, the time, the yeah. learning, like everything. the actual, like how to use the equipment, the process, you know. Yeah. I, if y'all seen, we posted like why well, posted like on Instagram, like our Instagram stories, how we did the shirts. We washed those shirts just to see how bad it would be. Mm-hmm. And all of them like cracked. Yeah. Two of them faded because we didn't have the, the flash dryer and now we do. So hopefully that helps cure the pain and you know yeah yeah so for everybody that that pretty much ordered or whatever um 
they're gonna be done before the end of uh friday this month you know um yeah so yeah but uh, um just know like this is our this is us screen us. printing them this is us like it's not like a high quality like badass shit but and that's why we priced them at that price yeah so regardless like we appreciate you guys you know and yeah. it, it means a lot and we appreciate the patience because man, yeah, man. This is a, it's a bitch it's like, like it's been, even even we're feeling the pressure you know yeah but. honestly i i feel like i haven't been able to release ai mas 2 because i've had Just that in the of back of my thing. mind yeah. you know it's like, well, and, how we've, are you gonna... and we've talked about that yeah we've talked know? about it too so i'm kind of excited because ai mas will be releasing every days on friday in this the friday. evening this friday so i'm excited to get this and much more out of the way to Drop focus that. on that yeah. you know but um but yes we're super happy um you know we're new subscribers welcome you know yeah we've been getting a lot of subscribers a so we appreciate ones. everybody tuning in and, and and following us and yeah you know another goal is that we hit 500 subscribers yeah we hit the 500 subscribers month. mark yeah uh, we're, we're at, at 523 yeah, currently at 523. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we don't lose one, you know. Yeah. We were at 522, went down to 521, and then... We got back up. Got two more. Yeah, so I saw this, that. This is exactly how it's going to go. Like, how do people... Why do people unsubscribe? It's like, just one of those things. It's just probably, like, uh, is it that? Really? Like... But anyways, yeah. So, new subscribers, welcome. Um, Yeah, and loyal subscribers. Thank yeah. y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Because honestly, we're like super close. My goal, if y'all go back to a few episodes, my goal was to end this year. Not the year mark, but our year, like in December with 500 subscribers. Mm-hmm. Roland's was, is a thousand. I still want to hit a thousand. He still wants to hit a thousand. I mean, so do I, but I was trying to be more realistic. So when we started this month, <laughs> I was like, holy shit, if we hit five, I'm going to be amazed. And we hit yeah. five mid-September, right? Yeah. I was like, what? So, I, I I still think, because it's hard. The the hard subscribers are like the first couple, you know, 100. But I feel like, yeah, once you hit like that five or whatever, like it's just no, the I, more I you think, have, the the bigger amount that you get. I think the easy, you know? I think the subscribers will start coming in more once we reach 1,000. It's because, yeah. We yeah, have that's to too, get to 1,000. It just snowballs it's like, just that. like that. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, TikTok blew up, man. TikTok is doing amazing. Yeah, we're at 14K on TikTok and half a million likes on there so more than that yeah it's more than that yeah. but man it's it's doing it's good man if you're not on tiktok man you need to get on tiktok yeah um when Oops. you were talking about um you know people like oh uh you might leave inspired after watching this or whatever mm-hmm. like um what are some words of like inspiration that you have for people that are going to start a podcast or oh, want to start a podcast yeah which we okay. have a few friends that are yeah. going to start a podcast on. um Well, one of them, she, you know, one of our friends that you did the logo for, um, I'm going to shout them out because, you know, they're about to start, you know, recording, I believe, if they haven't. And I want to say it's Para Las Chicas. It's four. It's four? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Shout out. It's for the Chicas. Uh, They're starting their podcast. I don't know when they're releasing the first episode. Sorry. It's for the Chicas. Yeah. Um, By Anaí and Giselle. Uh, so big shout out to them guys they don't have their youtube on their link already but they do have their instagram but my word of advice man or encouragement is like i told her she's like oh i'm so nervous and i'm like i mean i understand that the nervous mm-hmm. nervousness to put your just your face and your voice out there like it's like uh, yeah. you know yeah but me and roland did record like three um first episodes, first episode and like we still have those there, right? The setups yeah, are there. different for all of them, I think, right? Yeah, I, th- I mean, yeah, we were working with the setup. We we're redoing like the actual episodes. We we're redoing topics, mm-hmm. which like, yeah, it's just everything yeah. was changing. That way, we knew how to like do the shit, yeah. you know. So. But another like basically what i told her i'm like hey just record a few episodes you know and then just go with that. But what I wish I would have told her was there's no rules. If you want to start a podcast, fucking start it. It's your podcast. Yeah, there is no like, there's, there's no, is uh, no rules, you know. All you want is good, you know, audio, you know, a good if you are doing like camera Oh, uh, this stuff. is the first time we're doing three cameras. Oh, yeah, we're now. doing three cameras. So, so I decided to pull out my old vlog camera mm-hmm. just to see, you know, how it was gonna work. But oh well, three cameras y'all right now. Y'all see it. Let us know. 
but yeah basically there's no rules to start a podcast just fucking do it you know mm -hmm. but no one is no rules to be consistent because if you're not consistent then how do you expect people to want to stay stay there you know yeah. if you're not giving them the content for them to stay yeah treat it yeah treat it like a job treat it like a tv show like yeah you know tune in every whatever day at so and so time even though we are late sometimes we've been late i mean not sometimes a few very few times mm -hmm. i've posted like at a later day or a later time i want to say it's know? honestly been like less than five times yeah it's, including it's been less. the two times that we didn't post yeah so i mean just try to stay consistent if you miss a day mm -hmm. or whatever like don't even like don't stress it you know you're gonna feel some sort of pressure but if you're starting early like you can allow that time yeah it's just cool nobody's gonna trip you know um but yeah i think it's just the no rules and be consistent yeah and about the no rules thing i mean like it's like there's no i like if somebody was to tell me like hey can you give me like a copy of like how you do everything your your guide like your i'm like man i don't have a guide like it's just do it how you want to do it like it's just yeah make your own pave your own path whatever the hell you know but what we should do is i, I was gonna <clears> run and i did want to put like on the on like on our amazon store or whatever like start an amazon front front and then just do like the whole starter pack for like a podcast you know and then just yeah. there so you guys can go look if that's something you guys are interested in or you know you reach out to our, the other businesses and be like hey what's a good starter pack for to become a videographer or photographer what's a good camera like doing basically having starter packs on our amazon from this and much more so people can start their businesses mm -hmm. or something like that yeah. and putting that link like on the episode related to that you know or something yeah we should do that yeah but that's just another idea yeah so what's been your favorite episode so far favorite honestly i don't think i have a favorite but i want to say one of my drunkest episodes that i'm a little like ugh about it was the christmas one with giselle and amy mm -hmm. and with uh tank my tank which is not out yet. Which, which comes that out next not, week. Yeah, and that one's not out yet. So I'm pretty like, fuck. I knew I was but you, drunk. But you didn't. But you didn't seem as as drunk. The most. You didn't my, knew I was my, drunk. My my most drunk was probably either with Tank or with Laura. Oh shit! With Laura. Laura, we went live and everything. So yeah, that's true. With Laura, we were drunk too. But I don't think I was as drunk as I was for with the Christmas I one. Was. I was gone. Yeah, you and her were like... Yeah, we were lit. Yeah, we were lit. So, was, was I feel like episode. I was more like, you know, like <laughs> yeah. watching y'all. But um, but yeah, it must the, the drunkest has been the Christmas one with Amy and Giselle and um, with Tank. But that one's not out, so I'm kind of nervous to see how that's going to go. Yeah, no, but I did... I it's was a long gonna, one, too. Yeah, it's a long one. It's kind of cringy at the end, honestly. <laughs> We have to put it together because we had to record like on our phones because our cameras died. Oh, our longest episode has been with uh, Sensei, yeah. with Edgar. Yeah. Because he went live on his. So. Him, Pico, and Tank. Him, Pico, and Tank, Are yeah. Probably like two hours, past two hours, both like all three of those. Yeah. Was it, wasn't Flip's past two hours too? Nah. Uh, yeah, it was. Probably, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but oh no, no, no! I'm lying. It's an hour. It's an hour and twenty five. Wow! But our most popular video was you know for a long time. Yeah. Shout out, you know, she was like our number one for like the longest, right? Yeah. Until Alex came. Until no, no. Until was, we did the mania event. Oh, the we did the mania event with everybody. With, with everybody. Like Ten guests plus. Yeah. I don't know, and then from there it became Alex. It became Alex with the spider web. <laughs> and then after that it's flip. flip yeah flip is our most popular right now standing yeah, with shout 21. out flip shout out alex shout out everybody yeah man, like. 2100 views a little bit over that that's crazy yeah so big shout out to it's all our views. guests thank y'all for making it to our episodes on fridays sundays or even saturdays i think we've recorded a few saturday mornings saturday mornings yeah yeah. But yeah, like, cause I mean, again, like y'all know, we've had only two cancellations this whole um, year, and um, even with that, like, we really appreciate those that 
made the time to come out and record with us because it's just we're well, not getting paid we're not getting paid yeah. so it's just like a free thing and it's pretty cool to get to hang out with them and get to know them like on a personal level you know yeah and we're about to have we have a shitload of guests lined up already so yeah we have one this friday we have one we're booked up until like october mid-october yeah. yeah and then i still have more in mind um and we're going i mean we're we're like trying to stay ahead of everything pretty much you know like yeah not we don't want to be down. like having a you know yeah like be atrasados and shit and we're just like fuck, like stressing out but right now we're sitting on two episodes so yeah we're a little ahead yeah we're ahead so we're good for now content wise yeah content wise. and then and then i'm just gonna i'm gonna have to cut up a bunch of like clips and stuff to put on tiktok because yeah you know that's where what about uh bringing our guests backs okay you know what i was thinking because i wanted i wanted to do that but once we reached like 500 because that was my year goal right but mm -hmm. now i kind of want to bring them back once we reach a thousand subscribers to give them that much more exposure yeah because you know? because we've seen pe our, the people that we've had have grown mm -hmm. you know <clears throat> but it, i was thinking about like it'd be dope to bring them back but in pairs did, did we talk about this or did i tell my brother uh you didn't tell me so i was thinking about bringing them back in pairs like because cause I've always felt like if we had, like, a this and much more, like, party or some shit like that, mm -hmm. like, we'd invite, like, everybody, everybody we've had, you know? Yeah. And then that way everybody gets to talk to each other and, you know, mm -hmm. shit like that. And I was like, man, we what if we did, like, the bring the guests back on, but we put, like, oh, uh, people that are in the same field, uh -huh. like, as guests together. So I don't know. Like, like, like Larry you know, and, and this the big camera guy. Yeah. Oh my god, he's fucking funny. Yeah, like like them, like mm -hmm. like and then like them we all talk, you know, but they're yeah. photographers. Or having you know and, and and Miguel or some shit oh, like that. Yeah. Like, you know, just stuff like that, like where they can give input in their How professions and it is and, for you know, them. I uh -huh. think and then just catch up on like what they've done. Yeah, because we could also have like Pico Flip and um Edgar. And Edgar. Damn, yeah. that one would be long as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like shit like that. I think mm -hmm. that's that'd be fucking dope. Especially because uh Este Flip wanted to talk about more like well he's like we can we can have a whole other podcast about the Just fitness. Just the fitness stuff, stuff you know? yeah. Cause we did focus a lot on like the, his hardships the, and stuff like that. Yeah, his career and stuff. But oh man, I mean I'm down. I mean if that's something that you no, would want, you know. Yeah, I'm definitely wanting to do that, you know. But again, I don't know. Like, I was thinking bringing them back after the five, right? Yeah, I mean, we do it down the line, yeah. But now I'm thinking bringing people back, like, once we reach the thousand subscribers. Yeah. To and that'd be them cool, yeah. Porque we still want, yeah, and we still want to have uh, others, others, you know, room yeah. for everybody else. But, uh, yeah, I'm fucking down for that shit. I think that'd be dope. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. And I don't think I'm going to drink on this podcast no more for a good time. Why are you saying that? What I you told you that. What do you mean? I told you that first. Mm. I'm like, oh yeah, like Did after you tanks. It? After you tanks. Have evidence. Wow, you're fake. After How? Tanks, because I told you that after tanks episode, I was hungover the next day, and I'm like, man, I haven't been hungover in like a long time. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. you were that drunk, and I was like, yeah. I was pretty drunk. Yeah, because after that, what did I do after that? You went to go pick up Milo, but I stayed home. Yeah. To fix oh, his kitchen. To, oh, and then the, the next morning I was building it. Yeah. And then, yeah, I was watching Joe Coy and all that shit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I yeah. I was, yeah you were, and I was like, I ain't drinking no more. Yeah. And then this last episode, I'm glad we didn't drink because this last Friday because I just didn't feel like drinking. I just, I kind of want to put it like hold myself accountable on here and just get fit you know and not drink i'm not gonna drink for the next 30 days you're not gonna drink for your dad's birthday for the next 14 days <laughs> <laughs> damn for real fuck all right and then your dad's birthday there's exceptions i mean i'm not fucking strict either yeah, you know like i was gonna say this is your dad's birthday it's not like, like i drink Legos a lot of birthday 
when we go out to dinner and yeah. then Rai's birthday and then Thanksgiving yeah, but, yeah, but and then my birthday. Okay, okay. But that's where the that's where you have to be strict about it. También. Okay, so who's birthday? Any, at, at any point of the year when you start a diet, there's mm -hmm. going to be birthdays, there's going to be dinners, there's going to be everything. That's mm -hmm. where you have to be like, all right, I'm not going to, you know. Okay. But so yeah. the only way I ain't drinking is if I end up pregnant, so... And it's not but like, it's not like we drink it a lot. It's yeah, just we like, don't drink a lot. We just drink on the fucking podcast. No, yeah. But, uh, you know, I do. I The reason I don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to drink anymore is because I know once I'm pregnant, that's 10 months I'm not going to drink. Like, So I know that when I'm pregnant, I'm just like, I'm going to be like, damn, I should have drank before. Like, you know, because mm -hmm. while I'm, he I'm here now and I'm at this for Christmas and I can't drink a beer because I'm pregnant. It's just yeah. an example, right? Yeah. But, um, I, I mean, I just think I'm going to take it easier on, like, the drinking here on the, like, the episodes. I think either I'll drink an yeah. energy drink or depending on the guest, too, you know. Or maybe just do, like, a shot instead of, like, drinking a beer. Or not mixing it because we mix it all the time. Yeah, not mixing we'll be it. like, yeah, because we'll, we'll, like, make them feel more comfortable and drink a shot with them while we're drinking beer and they stay drinking whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what, like, throws it off, too. But y'all should hold him accountable because he needs to get fit, you know, because... Need? You need to get fit. Milo calls you gordo all the time. Not like he's not. He's not. <laughs> he's right. fit, remember? It <laughs> oh, talk about that. What <laughs> anime are we watching right now? Uh, My Hero Academia. And yeah. Milo is De Deku. Deku. And yeah. he just saw his movement, his move with the flick, and he's all about that right now. <laughs> It was uh, for a long time at Aaron. Aaron. And then, Aaron, like Titan lane. And then like Titan. Uh, Goku with his Kamehameha wave. Earlier today, he hit me with like all three moves. Oh, for real? Yeah, he did the flick, the Deku. Um, the Aaron. He bit the Aaron, and then uh, and then he did the Kamehameha all, while I was on the floor. And he's Spider-Man. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> Once Roland's on the floor, he wraps him up. <laughs> I guess. And then I have to pretend like I can't move and shit, you know? <laughs> Oh, my God. But, yeah, man, that fucking anime. I've watched the anime before, but I forget shit, you know. So yeah, she'll, she'll so ask annoying. me. So, she, so you'll yeah. ask me, like, oh, what, what's going to happen? And then he'll tell me something, and it's like, he'll be like, oh, yeah, this person's probably going to die. And I'm waiting for this person to die, and they never fucking die. And I'm just like, wait, what happened? Like, And he's like, oh, I guess. I don't remember. <laughs> like, really? Like, <laughs> como yeah. dice Milo, really, bro? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But honestly, <clears throat> this is a very emotional. Yeah, anime. she's like, I don't know how many times like that you feel like I've been wanting to cry. Yeah. But honestly, but it's because it's no. Go ahead. I was gonna say I'm amazed at at how much I really do enjoy watching anime. Yeah, no, it's crazy because you never would watch it. Well, I would just watch Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball yeah. but that's it. But a lot of people are like, it's not even anime, but it's anime. No más que, it's just. And the stories behind it is what amazes me. Honestly, it's Ooh, just my like, hero academia. No, just the anime Animes. in general. Like, yeah, it's like it's not fucking BS little stories, you know. Yeah. Another thing, guys, I'm gonna stop saying so many bad words on here because I say a lot of bad okay, words. Okay, we'll hold her accountable on that stuff then. Yeah, because I have family members watching, and you know, I get a little embarrassed when they tell me that they watch, and I'm just like, damn, I say a lot of bad words on here. Because I don't talk to them like that, you know? Hmm. I'm not even like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I don't talk to them like that, you know? So I'm just <laughs> like, oh, you know? But yeah, hold me accountable on that. Yeah, but I mean, it's your podcast. You can no, do I know, but you, you know, it, I, I, mean, I don't like talking like that, though. I don't mm -hmm. like saying bad words. I tell you when yeah, you're like... I don't like saying bad words either. But you, when you do like saying bad words. I don't like, I don't like saying them. I'm just... I just say them all the time. Yeah, he says them all the time, and I'm just like, don't talk to me like that. He's like, well, I'm not talking to you. And I'm like, while you're having a conversation with me and you're using a bad word, you're using it, like, towards me in no, a way. No, no, okay. That's, that's, that's the argument we have, right? So, basically, it's not. I don't mind people saying bad words, but I, I just don't want to, like, sound, like, ugly like that, you know? Yeah. So, hold me accountable. Oh, man, working in construction and all that, like, they talk like that. Yeah, but, but I never feel normal. like, oh. It's, he's you're talking like though. that towards me. You're a guy, though. Do uh, you want to do the whole equality thing? Huh? Do you want to do the no, whole equality thing? No, I'm saying, thing? guys, guys, if a guy tells you, like, this, like, for example, at a job, right? They're like, oh, what's up, bitch? Right? 
as the guy you're like oh what's up yeah right? but, but you, if it's that's a, a girl, no no but that's already towards somebody oh, that okay. is already so, so towards okay, somebody so if, if somebody like fucks up at work and i'm like oh what the fuck man like they're gonna be like oh you what the fuck me bro <laughs> like no it's just like no it's just a situation <laughs> it's like no not you like you know <laughs> Well, I I know what you're saying because we've had this conversation before when we've argued about it. I get what you're saying. I get it. I just don't like it. Yeah, but don't say it's like you're feeling it like it's towards you. You can't tell me what I feel. If I feel you using it towards me, specifically you because you're my husband, anybody else can be like, oh, what the fuck? And I won't care. But if you tell me. Well, you can't tell me what I feel because I don't. I'm I don't feel like I'm doing feel. that. I'm not telling you what you feel. Okay, well, it's just... fact that <laughs> I'm not telling you that towards you. Okay, well, I'm letting you know that I feel my heart breaking what's, what's, when you say what's, that. What, it's fact versus feel. Okay. It's a fact. I'm telling you right now, don't ever feel like that because it's not like that. <laughs> well, I'm telling you right now, you can't tell me what to feel. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways, guys, we're going to be back. On, we're going to take a quick break. Yes, sir. And we are back. But, um, but yeah. So, what else <clears throat> did you want to tell them? Oh, wait. Let's talk about... Um, well, one, did you feel like there was like a funny episode that you just clearly remember or not? Nah? It's because I know with Tank, we had, like, a laugh attack, kind of, almost. But it's not out yet. Uh, okay, scratch the, the I'm future I'm trying episodes. to look at the pictures, but um, I can't really, like, see them. You know who's funny? Like, just I just think it's, like, the one of the funniest people I know is the Mike. Mike, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. We Guys, are with Mike. follow him. He's so fucking funny. Like, it's <laughs> Even so like hard. A, you're talking about, like, on the stories and yeah, shit, Yeah, it's right? so hard. <laughs> I just remember when he said that he did the, like, the scorpion, that they scorpioned oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. him or whatever. <laughs> um, but it's so hard for me to find somebody funny, you know, because it's just sometimes like, oh, that's cringe, right? But, man, he is genuinely funny. Yeah. You know? Um. So, yeah, he was, I think his episode was pretty funny Um, for you. Funny? Uh-huh. Or one that you were like, wow, I can't believe we have this person here. Or like an episode that you just feel like stood out to you. I know when we when we had Chingo Bling, it was dope. Like oh, I man. was like, oh shit. Like, I was so fucking ner- I was so freaking nervous to have him here. Yeah, man. Shout out. Man, I still have a few of, of his shirts. Because you know how he would drop off some stuff. So yeah. take pictures or whatever. Like, so bro, if you're watching this, you know, I got to hit him up. You know, I got to hit them up to come pick up. I think they've been here, like, for, like, two months already. Yeah, because it was around Milo's birthday or yeah. after. But, yeah, yeah, Chingo, when we had Chingo Bling on here, honestly, um, I remember when I met him, like, I shook his hand and I was, like, nervous because, obviously, I know he, like, is he's big, you know. And I was surprised that he was down to do it, you know. He came to our house. But when we finished recording, like, he gave us a lot of props. He made me feel really good, like, honestly. About the podcast, right? Like, about the podcast, about, like, everything we were doing. Because I showed him, like, about AI Mas. Yeah. Um, Steve-O, too. Like, yeah. he's like, oh, give me, let me have some stickers. And I gave him, like, stickers, AI Mas. <laughs> like, just because, oh, yeah. you know, I, I used to make my own stickers with AI Mas. Which I think I'm going to do again. Because I have some paper yeah. there. But, yeah, Crystal Poppin was pretty cool, too. Oh, yeah, shout out KP and them. They're, yeah. they're cool. Um... We've had Ooh, a lot of people. Terry, I know. I'm trying to oh, see, but it's, it's in the way. just like yeah. this in the way. Terry was pretty badass too. Like, yeah. Now Terry is like long time. Him, it's like, just like he was. He's very loved yeah. by his community. Like everybody's but, best friend. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Uh, Milo, he I was our <laughs> he was our first guest, and yeah. he was you know saying his ABCs, but we didn't post it. You know. <laughs> but yeah. Um. um I don't know, man. We have, like, a lot of ideas. We have, like, a lot of uh, future plans that we want to do with this podcast, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, And we earlier we were talking about, like, the vision that we had, you know? Like, oh, with yeah. Studio 1017 and everything. Like, remember it. Studio 1017, guys. Remember that. It's going to be big. Yeah. Studio 1017 is going to be crazy. But, yeah, we have a lot of plans for that. Uh, hopefully in the future. It's hopefully in the near future. So to be able to just work out of there, you know, like work out of there, have the podcast there, have Superior, AA Moss, all that shit. 
plus more, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah, because we want to do, like, the rental, too, like, renting the yeah. spot and yeah, stuff. Yeah, but don't give them too much. Oh, okay, sorry. That's how sorry, I was guys, saying, like, sorry. Like, businesses and stuff, you yeah, know? Yeah, businesses. But, but, um, but, yeah, once we do it, we'll share what we, how y'all, how y'all can do it because yeah. we have to figure out how to get there first. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, another thing, too, I feel like we are going to be a little bit more careful with, like, you know, who we invite, just, you know, safety reasons and stuff like that. Cause up until we have a space. Up until, yeah, up until we have a space because, you know, people would be, like, weird. Yeah, now, right? Like, yeah, people are just, like, honestly, like, it's, it's yeah, guys can be really weird. And I'm yeah. watching that that show, so I'm just, like, what show? the uh, one we watched yesterday. Dahmer? Yeah. Yeah. And I just feel like, I mean, ya por si, I'm always paranoid, you know. I'm, I'm always feeling like somebody wants to take me or something. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's even now, like, a scary time. Like, yeah, it is. How, um, I just seen somebody post about, like, ladies, like, um, and it was, like, for girls, right? Mm-hmm. Porque it's, like, uh, what, what was it? Like, fall or winter's coming. Like, I don't know if you saw the post. Mm-mm. And it was, like, um, you know, put gas like earlier in the day before sunset uh always carry a next a charger like just oh, stuff yeah, like that be aware of your surroundings yeah and like i said that. like phones down eyes up or heads up or whatever just just because you know like it's just some wild shit even yeah. i don't like putting gas late at night and all yeah. that shit like i hate doing that shit but um I mean, and if you don't have time. to leave your house don't like yeah. you know drink at home or it's something. crazy how it's like a, a whole like i don't know if it's just a hispanic thing but about like once you're home, mm-hmm. like, don't leave after that. Yeah, you're already home, like, in the day, like, in la, in la noche. Mm-hmm. Let's say you're out all day, you get home, you're safe, you know, like, just stay home. Mm-hmm. Pero sometimes, like, you know, people, hey, come to this party, whatever, whatever, and you're already home. It's like, just don't go, you know? Yeah. It's like. I mean, you don't want to live, like, a paranoid life either, but yeah. you just got to be careful, really. Because even, like, on Friday, um, we had a podcast like an episode recording and um i went to my my uncle's for like my cousin's party or whatever and i was trying to get there before the mariachis got there which i did you know because i left with enough time and just on the way over there i was driving speed limit you know normal but i feel like people were it was like on a friday night and people were just driving crazy like crazy you know but i feel like i'm just so aware of like avoiding a car accident you know that like I'm just like leaving enough space or or something or checking yeah. like if somebody's too close behind me I'm just like damn I'm scared that they might hit me you know yeah like that but it's just as a girl it's it's scary but yeah we just again we just wanted to be careful with you know and if you have been to our podcast just don't share the location because you know yeah. it's our house unless you tell somebody that you know let them know where you're at and trip safety reasons yeah Pero safety stuff real fast though like you're talking about the car crash thing I, I asked lego i'm like and i'm pretty sure i've talked to you about it too but like <clears throat> what do you think would happen if like cars had like uh like magnets mm-hmm. to where they repel other cars you know like so they if si un carro viene si real close like it'll just like push it mm-hmm. and not crash it do you think that would cause more crashes or do you think that would be safe I think it will cost more. Cause more crashes? Yeah. Towards? Because I feel like if this car is avoiding to hit this one, right? And this one doesn't even realize that that's something that's going to happen, right? So it probably might either lose control or sometimes you can make magnets, you know, hit each other. Oh, yeah. But let's just say that that wouldn't happen. Okay. Like it's already like fixed to where Mm -hmm. and then if the person's getting a warning that oh snap like somebody's about to hit you you know it's you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. you know how sometimes you can you hear the beeping or your seat Mm -hmm. fight vibrates because somebody like you're about to hit something okay like if that's the warning to the person then maybe it could be avoidable you know but if it's not at that level yet then i think it, it could cost more because what if the person that you know is about to get hit gets pushed forward and loses control or something or that person it's just it could be like a ¿cómo se llama? Like, a ripple yeah and then but what then if like the person at the very front is at a stoplight no what is at the stoplight and there's somebody crossing 
And because the person in the back is about to hit him, they go forward, hit that person that was walking in front of them. Well, that in the what in that world that I'm picturing, people have magnets on them too. Okay, that, that's <laughs> dumb, babe. Sorry to tell you. Okay, you just well, said we, that on camera. Okay, wow. well, we have phones with internet. That sounds dumb to people back in the day too. But oh, magnets like us as persons yeah, is like, different. Or a repel spray. I don't mm, know. Mm, maybe you never know. You never know yeah. in this world. Okay, because then we're talking about. I mean, I'm like, why is there always a lot of traffic? Because people don't know how to drive. But it's like, because you know, when we come from work, mm -hmm. we look at 45, like going towards our house, mm -hmm. and it's always traffic. And I'm like, what's the person on the very front doing? Driving probably slow. And I'm just like, what the fuck, man? Like, just go, you know? Like, mm -hmm. But a lot of it too crazy. is car accidents. Yeah, and it's like, why the car accidents? Like, damn, bro. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Man, we saw one happen. Mm -hmm. Like, literally right in front of us. When? At, at, uh, this last week. Mm. Yeah, last week. We saw it literally. Like, so yo, like, un que pegaron. Mm -hmm. And we turned around. And the car was like, así nomás. And then, um, uh... Yeah, we pulled, we went around to this gas station porque yeah, it's happening in the traffic and we weren't going to be able to hit that trans, uh, that gas station. So we went around and yeah, we see the person, the person who crashed got out and went and looked inside the, the other cars, the mm -hmm. other person's car. Like he was in the seats for some reason. I was like, what the hell? Maybe looking for the insurance. I don't know. But, but you know what though i was gonna tell you i was talking to junior on friday mm -hmm. he told me juanito got into a bad wreck that he broke his back and an arm or something like that hmm. yeah for real i was like damn that's crazy but, but so what that's all i got from him guys suck at cheese man <laughs> oh, so that's his brother right yeah and and he's at a party Damn. Well, I mean, the wreck was a long Damn. time ago. Oh, it was a long I time ago. I don't know how long ago, but my tío was there too. He's like, Mija, can you send me a picture of the rug? I already talked to your husband. And I'm like, tío, I know. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I don't know if y'all like talked about it. And I'm like, no, si me dijo, like, no se preocupe. Like, whenever you, you I can, you know. I mean, he can you come know? get it, you mm -hmm. know, pero. Um, he said I should have told gonna him wait. That. Yeah, he said he's going to wait. But yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. And then my dad... You know, so I know that Junior and my dad be watching the podcast sometimes, too. My dad got super drunk on Friday. Mm -hmm. You know, he was there. And I was going to, like, bring his ass home. But he didn't want to. And then, I don't know if you know William. I call him Monkey. He's I, like, I, I, I probably have to see him. Yeah, well, he was there. And he's like, uh, I was like, okay, but let's, I'm like, Claudia, my tío's, my, my tío's wife was there, right? Mm -hmm. oh i'll just tell you the story off the podcast because it's kind of dumb but my dad he didn't want to like go home and he was super drunk and he lives down the street you know mm -hmm. and i was gonna bring him home but he didn't want to but everybody it was like half and half and, and they ended up convincing me then to leave him there because he wanted to continue to party because his wife gave him permission to stay <laughs> but anyways yeah back to us being um one year 50th episode we should celebrate. With what, a, a shot or something? No, not today. Oh. I just took a migraine medicine, yeah, remember? Fuck that. Yeah, fucking. Ooh, uh, uh, let's celebrate Thursday. Thursday? With our girl, I am a. <laughs> she, got, she got us. I was feeling super sick earlier this week, and she was able to get us sweet tickets to go see Carol G. Yeah. You know? I told Roland, I know that I'm like a God believer, you know? I believe in God. So I really feel like this was him putting those tickets. Let me slide these tickets. She went to church on Sunday. Let me put these in her <laughs> life. I feel like literally that's how it happened because I was All feeling right. sick. And then she called me. She's like, hey, da -da -da -da. I'm like, girl, yes. Yeah. So that's but pretty cool. I'm I excited mean, I, I guess we'll celebrate like that. Every day. On Thursday. Yeah. yeah. That'll be our, our celebration. Yeah. We'll post some videos on Instagram for y'all. But um, did you have anything else you want to talk about? That's it, man. I just wanted to do like a 50th episode. I know it's nothing crazy. We don't have no, no guests or nobody. But it's just us. This is a us. crazy milestone. I'm, I think I'm, I'm going to edit this shit right now. And then I'm going to probably make a little TikTok video. 
Oh, I was going to ask you, were you going to do the the episode stuff on this video or just a separate one by what itself? What episode stuff? Like we were going to get one of each. Oh, no, it's a TikTok video. It's going to be a TikTok video? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like a little trend video or oh, whatever. Okay. Pero just to show like the milestone and the how far the we've growth. come. And we went from couches to chairs. Yeah. And a table. But thank y'all to the... <laughs> loyal sub loyal subscribers and watchers and followers we really appreciate the support and um if you're new again thank you for joining us and we hope you enjoy this um 50th episode this journey with us for sure man and uh real quick updates updates uh you're dropping again AMS friday. this friday uh superior is gonna be dropping October, I think I'm gonna do that Saturday, the, October fifteenth. Mm -hmm. um, that should be in two weeks. Yeah, and then I have Marvelous Club Vintage, which I don't know if you want to talk about yours, not yet. No. Marvelous Club Vintage, I'm gonna be doing like a drop on the week before that, so this October. Weekend. Oh, the eighth. Eighth, October eighth. Mm -hmm. I'll be doing a, a little drop or whatever. It'll probably be up. I don't know how. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but just look out for Marvelous Club Vintage on Instagram. And then pretty much just follow everybody. I mean, follow all our accounts. Everything's going to be in the description like always. So appreciate everybody again. That's it. 50th Peace. episode. Peace.